Hello, Comanche Native here, and yes, I am in Portal Knights. Check it out, guys. I am back yet again, and I'm like, what the? What? What the? <laughs> now, there has been requests for a part four when I was doing this build. And this right here is in, I guess it would be adventure mode. Some things have changed. My brother, Native Mercy, he wanted a balcony and he put one there. So he's got like a balcony kind of just protruding out right there. That was totally his doing. I was like, uh, okay. That, that's cool. I don't mind that. Now, when I first did the video, I honestly thought, um, it was done. But a lot of people are requesting for a part four. Now I'm going to show you the back of this build. This is going to be unusual. And the reason why I say unusual is because, you know, I've been adding on, taking away. So this is the side of this build. And then it, it just gets extreme, especially in the bag. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> this is the back of the build. That's a lot of work, like a lot of work, but you know, that's basically how I have it. I have my stained glass work on the side there. And then it, I added this building. This is supposed to be my storage building for all the carpet that I was going to make here. It's empty, of course, inside. So this is the entire thing. It's not going to just be a part four, I don't think. It might be even larger than that. Now, when I did the video, I only did the front half because I thought, you know, you guys might want to go ahead and just repeat what you had at the beginning to the back. And then that was it. I, I didn't think that you guys would want all of this other stuff here. All this, this huge amount of work that I added. So I'm kind of wondering, how am I going to do this? How am I going to, like, do I take notes? Do I take notes? Oh, I can't. I can't get up there with him. Or with her. My little pet. I don't know. So I was thinking, well, maybe I can copy this and bring it in to creative mode. And then do a thorough examination of it to try to get part four going. So, yeah, let's, let's try that. First thing we need to do is go into creative mode. I'm going to go back to the main menu. And we are going to try to copy that world over. This is my workshop. Hang on. Now I think what I did was, it's one of these blueprints. 
but I'm not quite sure which one. That's it. No, that's that's another build I was working on. <laughs> so no, that's that's the wrong one. Okay, that is a no. Maybe this one? Uh, oh wait, there it is! Yeah, there it is! Hello, old friend! <laughs> How you doing? Wow. Who would have thought so many people like this build? I, I didn't think anyone would like it that much, but... Okay. I do appreciate those who do. Yes, yes, this is where I stopped. And... I know you guys are like, what? This is not finished. <laughs> is it bad that I got lazy? Is it? Really? <laughs> okay, so. How are we going to do this? Hmm. Alright, I'm going to test out something here. So, hang on. So we're going to go here, and we're going to, okay, so I can't copy while in the world, so I'm going to have to get back out to the main menu. Hang on, I need to figure out, this is where I'm at. Okay, this is it. This is where I need to come back. Okay. Okay, so I'm back to the main menu, and I'm going to try to put it right here. I'm going to go to my world, and this is the island that I'm going to copy over. And there it is. Yay! That's it. Let's go inside. Now, it copied the whole thing. This is the first time me doing this. So, I'm hoping everything copied over. Again, I do appreciate everybody who enjoyed the build. That was my first attempt to showing off a build that I made in Portal Knights. Alright! Nice! It did it! Check it out! Cool. That is cool. So it copied everything over. My dragon's trying to keep up with me. Oh, poor thing. She's like, you're flying too fast. Stop. <laughs> All right, guys. I guess we will begin to break down this build so I can show you the entire thing. But I'm happy it copied over. Alright, let's begin. I'm back and ready to start. Now, I did look at my build, I studied it, I took notes, and what we are going to start off with is the rooftop. So, you will need the polished dark wood and, of course, dirt. Hang on, let me fix this so I don't have to always scroll over to the dirt. Here we go. Alright, let's begin. Now, it's up to you on how you want to do this. If you want to go and just put dirt all the way across, you know, that's up to you. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to go like this, make staircases like that. It takes a little bit longer, I have to say, but that's all right. Now, when I was checking out my build in creative mode, I noticed a few mistakes. And I'm like... 
did not know I made those mistakes. But that's okay. For those who may not know, I did lose this build when I had to do an update a long, long time ago. And I was kind of heartbroken about it because I was thinking, oh man, I lost my build. But thanks to the video, I did manage to bring it back. Now, we are going to have to go one extra down. And the reason why is because that's how it is in the build. So, it's going to look like that. So, we put one extra down. You could go ahead and pause the video if you have to. We're going to take away this. And we are going to just bring the rooftop all the way to the other side. And a big shout out to those who really do like this build. Thank you so much. Just bring it all the way over. Just keep on going until we get to right there. And that is all we're going to keep doing. I think the roof is probably the easiest thing to do. In creative mode, I have to, uh, you know, caution when you're doing it in adventure because you can fall and those hearts hurt when you start to lose them. That was so strange to be able to just look, oops, at my build in creative mode and I was like uh oh wait a minute this is a mistake so when I go back into adventure mode I do have to fix that now I honestly thought you guys would enjoy you know making your own version of this however you like it but I understand a lot of people wanted to see the build finished and I was like uh I thought it was finished <laughs> did I get lazy I don't know uh, mm. hey I heard that I heard you say yes I have to say uh maybe <laughs> down now I always kind of wondered what exactly did I make was it a mansion was it a factory I guess it just depends on what you want to make it. I do enjoy building in this game. You know, in venture mode, again, it's kind of tricky because you kind of fall. But it's worth it. It is so worth it. I just wish that the build that you put in adventure mode, you know, yeah, you have to put them on the islands that you buy, the vacant islands, to keep them. But I wish they could just, like, be built and just stay there. But, you know, with the update, 
they wanted to add certain non-playable characters. So I totally understand that. Can't believe I'm doing this. <laughs> Fun fact. This was my first build that I showcased in Portal Knights. Okay, hang on. I do need to look at my notes because I'm wondering about the last three. So, give me a minute. Okay, so I took a look at my notes and then I went back and took a look at the build and I realized the back of the build in Adventure Mode that I have is way different from the front. Now, these archways right here, they match up, but they're kind of placed weird in Adventure Mode. So what I plan on doing is I'm just going to copy the two arches right here into the back. So we have like one, two out. So that means we're going to have to put two extra ones there. And then we are going to just mimic this whole little archway there to the back. So you are going to need the red. Hang on, let me go ahead and get it. You're going to need the red stone block. And put that there and we are going to begin to start putting this down again I will have to look at my notes as I go along okay starting from this step right here we are going to lay down six so it's gonna be one two three four five six and that is one and we're gonna go two three four five six and we are just gonna bring it back so it can match this right here, like that. It should look like this. And then from here, we're going to put down two. And then we're just going to fill it in. And then we're going to put four blocks right here. And then two on top look like a little stairs like that now from this area here we're going to go six again we're gonna go one two three four five six and then we're just gonna go up one and then we're going to fill it in like that and then we are going to go ahead and do the exact same thing oh gravity no on this side, one, two, three, four, five, six. We're just going to bring this over like that. And then we're just going to fill it in like that. And it should match up to everything that is right here. We're just going to go ahead and fill the whole thing in, the inside. then here we're just going to have this going out like this. I'm just going to have to bring it out just a little bit more. And there we have it. We have this side looking like this side. Now we're going to have to see how much space we have between two of the two um, I guess I'm calling them archways, but you can call them whatever you like. So this is one, two, three, four. So that's how much space we have between this area right there. Okay, now I know it might get a little confusing on this part. I do apologize, but we are going to have to bring this over. So it's going to go all the way over here until we get to that point there. And then we are going to go one, two, three, four. And we're going to say five, but on the fifth one, we are just going to put this here. That is our marker to let us know this is where the next 
duplicate of this one will be. Now again, the space was four between, right? So it's one, two, three, four. And then on three steps going down was six. So let's go ahead and put that down there. I'm gonna go one, two, three, four, five, and then six. Then we're going to just repeat two more steps like this. And if you need to, go ahead and pause the video. You know, I don't want to confuse you. I, I don't mean to do that. So if I do, I'm sorry. This is our last step of rows of six. Again, four space between and then six underneath. Let's go ahead and copy this over. Okay, this is one, so we're going to go two, three, four, five, six. And then this is one, two, three, four, five, six. And then that's one, two, three, four, five, six. And it's just going to match up with this one right here, like that. And then again, we're going to go two out, so one, two, one, two, and then we're just going to fill it in. Going to lay down four right here. Two on top. And then from this right here, we're going to go six over. It's a lot of counting. A lot of counting. <laughs> Now, I'm trying my best to make this um, as easy as possible. You know, I am behind the scenes. I am looking at my notes like crazy. Just so I can get this right. And then I'm just going to fill it in. Oops. I guess we could kind of leave that there. Because we are going to go like this. Right. Looking good. It should look something like this. Now, if you are in adventure mode, good luck. Good luck. <laughs> That's all I can say is good luck. Now, we're going to go ahead and bring this over. Now, we have to kind of get a marker going. Hang on have to figure out it's gonna have to go like this and it's gonna have to go down like that let's put a marker ah hang on I lost it lost it I'll get it. I'll get it. You know what? I should just kind of like. All right, here we go. Let's do our marker. See if we can stay on track. That is our marker. That's it. So let's bring all this over. Just bring it all the way over to where we get to our marker, then we'll stop. Right there. Now, on this part right here, I'm just you know, I'm going to have to kind of guess how the inside is going to look. So I'm just going to put some dirt right there. And then just bring the roof over. Now, you guys.
guys can change up the inside however you like it. I think I'll do the shell. The shell of the build. So I'm gonna go ahead and put some dirt down. There we go. Go ahead and do one more. This. Now, I just want to make sure the marker is set where it's supposed to be. Walk my little body. Yeah, got it, got it. <laughs> All right. So we're just going to go ahead and mimic the two right there and then put them right down there. Okay, from our marker, we're going to have to put one extra black block down. And from here, we are going to go six. One, two, three, four, five, six. And then that is one. So we're going to go two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. And it should just match up with this, like that. Then we're going to go and put two out, and then fill it in. And then, of course, four on top, like that. And then from here, we're going to go six. One, two, three, four, five, six. And then another roll of that. Whoops. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. And then we're just going to fill it in. Like this. Then we're going to put the two on top. And it should look like that. Now I'm just leaving the marker there for now. And again, we had like a four space between the two right here one one two three four okay now we did have to bring this over like that and then it went one two three four and then we have it like this but it's going to be like this and then we go one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. And then we just bring it back and match it up right there. Uh, oh, whoops. Hang on. It's gonna say, uh, how come it didn't match up? <laughs> we'll bring this over. Like that. All the way over to that side there. Then we're going to have two out. Fill it in. Oops. This. Oh, why is 
is it starting to act up on me? I'm like, huh? What are you doing? One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three. Like every now and then, it'll work with me, and then it works against me, and I'm like, come on, Portal Knights. And then we're just gonna fill this in. Oh, a little jump there. this correctly it should line up with the other side exactly how we would like it now we're going to have to put the same spacing that we did over there so we are looking at five one two three four five I mean six sorry six and then we're just going to bring a step down Step one, two, three, four, five, six. Right, that looks good, and it should look something like that. Again, you can pause the video. Let's go ahead and get rid of our marker because we no longer need that. All right, since we have the roof laid down, the same thing on the other side. Um, let's go ahead and start over here. And we are going to start building the walls on the side and then attach them to the roof as we go on. All right, we are going to go and build this side up. So we are going to go one, two, three, four. Right there. So we're looking at one, two, three, and then one, two, three, four. That's what we are looking at right now. Hang on. Okay, so I had to check my notes. And then what we're going to do is we're going to go like this. And we're just going to bring it all the way over. Oh, did not mean to lay that one down, sorry. There we go. We're just bringing it over until it kind of matches up with this one. All right, we're going to have it like that for now. And we're going to do another layer right here. Just right on top, whoops. It's a little difficult doing it like this. And I'm sorry I'm not counting but I'm just kind of bringing it over just to give us this nice line like that. that. Looks good. Okay, hang on, let me look at my notes. Okay, next what we're going to do is create some depth into our wall. And right here is where we're going to start the wall. So we're gonna go one, Two, three, four, five, six. And we're going to put a window right. Hang on, hang on. And we are going to put our window right there. 
and then we're going to put another one right on top and then this right there and then we're going to go ahead and just fill it in all the way up to this point look like that oh like that go ahead and pause the video if you have to but that is what we are doing we're going to go ahead and put the door down now when you do these doors you do have to kind of dig this area out first and then put some foundation down Let's go ahead and use the snow block. No, 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 not the snow block. Hang on. The, let's see, what can we use? You know, for now, let's just use the stone block. Let's use that. You know, it's just by the door. We're just going to use this. And let's see how big the door actually is. We're going to be using the large door. And let's put it in the place of this. Right. Now, remember, it's up to you on how you want the door. Um, the little hinges right here would have the door go and this is basically how it's supposed to go like that so when you open it goes inward so it's up to you if you want it to go outward or inward it's your choice but once we have that down we are going to repeat this onto the other side so we put down one two three four five six and then we're going to do the same right here one that and then we have two in between and then the window so put the window down oh wait a minute this has a ledge let's lay the window but like this go ahead and fill it up Gonna put another window on top and then of course the, just to make it look a little larger than it is and then we're just gonna fill this in like that all right so it should look like this Okay, next we are going to go ahead and have one layer like this. All the way across. And then we're going to have our window right here. And right there. Like that. And we are going to go ahead and add the same thing because we wanted to kind of make it look the same inside. And then all we have to do now is just fill this all in. You know, when I was building this building a long, long time ago, in a portal no, it's far, far away, I have to say, it was an interesting build. It was a combination of two buildings put together. Ah, oh, the memories. 
They make you smile and cry at the same time. That. Right. So it should look something like this. Let's go ahead and fill this in. There we go. Should look like that. Okay, we are going to start on the kitchen area, which is going to be over here. So right here, we're going to count one, two, three, four, five, six. And then we're going to have one go out like this because that is where our stove is going to be. Now remember, this is one, so this would be two, three, four. And then we will go and put one, two, three, four, five, six, like that. The windows, right, hang on, the windows should be like this. Like that. And then, of course, it's the same thing that's right here. Like that. And then we are going to put this on the top. Like that. And then we have two on top of this. It feels so weird to put a shell, because that's basically what I, I'm doing. Like that. I mean, I think it's kind of odd that I'm just putting the shell down. Most of the time when I'm doing stuff like this, I am, you know, trying my best to design the inside first and then go and design the the outside and what we're going to do is we're just going to fill this all in so it's going to go like this and this is the side of that now you may have different design in mind when you are doing this build and that's totally okay you guys have great imaginations you can design it however you like fill in this area here that. and then of course we have our stove which is going to kind of line up with that with the window Then we're going to put two up. Now, designing stoves can be tricky. You know, you don't really want to kind of like a, a chimney that doesn't oh doesn't really you don't want to be trapped inside, you know. But it should look something like this on the inside like that but again we're just doing the shell all right we're doing the shell just checking it out let's go ahead and fill this in and then we're just going to fill this up 
Come on, fly. There we go. And when I was talking about the chimney, you know, you don't want to make a chimney to where you can accidentally jump inside and then get stuck. If you have guests over, they might get inside and then they'll bust out and say, well, you should have made it easier. And so it should look something like that right there. Okay. All right, now we're gonna start right here. So this is going to be seven. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And this is where the door is going to be. So we have to dig out the door. Again, I'm just gonna go ahead and go with this. And have the door like that. And then the window actually going to be right here oh hang on gotta put a ledge on the door uh, window I mean like that and it's the same style as what we have over there like that so it was one two three four five six seven so we're going to repeat that over here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then this is going to be over here now. So we'll go like that. And then we're just going to fill this all in. And again, it's up to you on how you want the door. You could have the hinges on the outside if you want the door to open up a certain way. That's okay. Choice is entirely up to you. Then we'll fill this in. should look like that all right so we are going to mimic this side right here right over here so this is a two border before we lay down the windows We're going to put the windows right here. Like that. Now, there are two windows that are right here in the middle. They're kind of like right above the door, like that. And it's up to you how you want to design your windows. But once you have it like that, all we do is fill it in. Is it strange to kind of um, know that I had to build this build multiple times? I think it is. I do. I'm kind of like, mm. I didn't think I would have to build this build multiple times, but you would think I'd be a pro about now. Okay, so it should look like this. Over here on the side, this might be a little tricky. Just, just a little bit, okay? What we're going to do, whoa, 
is this should be 18 across. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. Hang on. So 17, oh, I hate jumping like that. 17 would match up. Okay, 17 would match up. But in order for us to put the little design in the back, we're gonna have to put this down, this extra one down. That's it. And the design I'm talking about is we're going to have a pillar that kind of comes out. So we're laying this down. So that's three there, right? Then we go over here. Then we put three more down like this. That is our little pillar that we are going to have go up. Now in the middle, we are supposed to have some windows. Go ahead and put the ledges down. Okay, hang on, let me look at my notes. Okay, so it's gonna be one, two, three, four, five, and then we put the window right there. should look like that and then again we are bringing the design over oh, not meant to put that way over there oh almost did it again okay all right, now for the top, we're going to go ahead and put two down like this. Fill that in. And then we are going to have like this and then the window. Try to put the door up there like that and then this bring the window up like that and we're just gonna fill this all in imagine doing this in adventure mode with all the dirt scaffolding just so you don't fall making dirt pillars and everything like that now I thought it would be kind of nice if there was a way you could have wallpaper inside. I thought that'd be kind of cool. I'm like, oh, why don't they offer wallpaper? Let's fill this all in. Now, this second, this second little, you know, edge right here might be a problem later on. We'll deal with that as time goes on. And we are just going to fill this all in. Should look like this. We're going to bring the pillars all the way up. I think it's kind of cool because when you lay these down, it changes. You see how it changes that? Right there, it changes. The contact changes the layout on some of them. And you're kind of like, what? You know, why, why didn't it turn like this? You know? It's a little... Isn't that kind of weird? That didn't have that same reaction to this one?
just gonna bring the pillars up. All the way up. And then we're going to do the same for the other side. And I hope I'm not going too fast for you guys. Again, I'm super happy that you guys love this build. And I apologize for it taking so long to get out. Well, you know, again, I thought number four, like it, we didn't need a number four. <laughs> All right, so it should look like this. Now, we're not done. We're not done. You know, we do have to put this little edge around the whole thing. But again, we're just we're laying out the back of the foundation and stuff like that. We're going to go ahead and go this way all the way around and then we start to tackle all this other stuff. All right, let's go ahead and start right here. All right, we're going to put down the door, which is going to be right here. We have to dig it. Oh, every time I land, <laughs> Gives a little bounce. Okay, hang on. All right. Now we would like to have the door like this, but if we push it in just a little bit, just a little bit like this, we could actually match it up with this right here. So decision making time. Hmm. I think let's go ahead and put the door like this I think that would be good let's go ahead and dig it out lay this down ah whoopsie set the door like this and we will go ahead and fill this in like that and this is going to be two okay should look something like this going to have to put a little ledge like that for now for now okay because we will have to kind of move things around inside the interior because we're gonna to have to set down a floor you know we have like a two floor area right here this is going to be kind of like a bedroom area here and then down here it, it's just the kitchen this whole thing right there is just the kitchen. All right, let's continue on. We're going to start making the wall going that way now. 